Eric Almarola is headed back to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2024. Now I say headed back to Joe Gibbs Racing because if you've been around NASCAR for a while, you know that Eric Almarola got his start in NASCAR with Joe Gibbs Racing. He raced for their Xfinity program when it was the Bush Series back then in 2005, 2006, 2007, and he also made his NASCAR Cup Series debut in 2007 driving the number 80 car for JGR back when they used to run one-off R&D entries, even though some fans seem to think that Trackhouse pioneered the idea of one-off entries with different drivers. It's been happening for years, but... Eric Almarola is headed back. And how do we know that? Because the source is Joe Gibbs himself. He was at the Washington Commanders game on Sunday, and when talking to somebody from the Commanders organization, he mentioned that he has Christopher Bell there with him, and he said, you know Christopher, because I assume the guy's met Christopher before. And then he turns to Eric Almarola, who was there, and he said, this is Eric. He's now driving for us. So <laughs> that means that Eric Almarola is doing the part-time Xfinity program that we've kind of been hearing uh, rumored that was going around. It was either that he was going to Joe Gibbs Racing or he was going to race for JRM next year and the JRM one never really felt like it was going to materialize. Even though he has raced for JRM in the past, he did a full season with them about a decade ago at this point, but he's headed to Joe Gibbs Racing. Take a listen to what Joe had to say real quick. In his career, Eric Almarola has four Xfinity Series victories. He has two on Super Speedways, one this past year in 2023 at Sonoma on the road course, and he's also credited with the 2007 Milwaukee Mile victory as well for Joe Gibbs Racing in the number 20 car. And some of you fans that have been around for a while know what I'm about to say. Eric Almarola didn't actually cross the finish line in the 20 car, but is still credited with the win. That's because he qualified the car and he started the car. He was leading the race, probably would have won that race regardless, but then sponsor Rockwell Automation told Joe Gibbs that they had to pull Eric Almarola out of the car and put Denny Hamlin in the car to finish the race because Rockwell Automation and all the people that they had at that race wanted to see Denny Hamlin in that car. So Hamlin was put in the car, he goes on to win the race. And if you're wondering why Denny didn't start the car, that's because the Cup Series was racing, I believe, at Pocono that weekend. This is before the Xfinity Series went there, uh, at least twice with the Cup Series and they wanted to sub Denny in. So when Denny got to the track, Eric Almarola was pulled out of the car, Denny was put in the car. Eric goes on to leave the track after the race, or not even after the race, before the race is even over. Denny goes on to win the race. He does all the victory lane photos, but the win credit does go to Eric Almarola. So Denny Hamlin should technically have one more Xfinity Series win than he does, but he'll never have that because it's credited to Eric Almarola, who was very unhappy about that. In fact, that was the end of his year or his career at Joe Gibbs Racing at that point. He then goes on to leave, moves over to DEI, which was Gin Racing and the conglomerate that eventually ended up being Earnhardt Ganassi, moves over there. He ends up running the eight car on a part-time basis in 2008. Very odd situation going on there. He and Mark Martin split the car. You can go back and look up all of that. But Eric Almarola moving on to Joe Gibbs Racing next season is a step in the right direction for him, right? Eric Almarola isn't a bad race car driver. He's just not a great race car driver. He's a guy that can maybe win a cup race every now and then, right? He only has three career cup series wins, one at Talladega, one at Daytona, and another one at New Hampshire, which just absolutely came out of nowhere. But it was still a really impressive victory at the time. It still is, honestly. But he's a guy that is much more suited for the Xfinity Series. Sure, he only has four career victories, three of those where he actually crossed the finish line and took the checkered flag. But his talent level, and we've talked about this before too, there's guys that have Cup Series talent level. There's guys whose talent level caps out at the Xfinity Series. And maybe that's just where they need to stay because they can be super competitive in that series. And when you look at it, guys like AJ Allmendinger, who's great on road courses and a few other tracks in the Cup Series, but you put him in the Xfinity Series and the guy goes out there and wins tons of races. Same with a or Justin Allgaier, uh, Elliot Sadler, perfect example of a guy that was really good for the Xfinity Series, not so much in the Cup Series. And there's been a number of those type of people along the way. Jason Keller, if we want to go really far back, Scott Riggs is another guy that probably should have stayed down there, the Greens even. So there's guys that are just Xfinity level talent. And that's not a bad thing, right? You can go make a heck of a career, make it into the NASCAR Hall of Fame, even having stellar Xfinity Series careers. And honestly, that's where Eric Almarola should probably have focused his time and money 
you know, in more recent years. I don't know if Smithfield's going to be with him. I know a ton of people are going to be like, who's the sponsor? It does appear that it will be a part-time um, part time program. Likely, I would imagine splitting it with Ryan Truex unless Joe Gibbs Racing is going to run three full-time cars and then a fourth rotating car, which doesn't seem like it's going to happen. They're not ready to confirm their 2024 Xfinity Series driver lineup yet, but we do know it's going to be Sheldon Creed, Chandler Smith, Eric Almirola in some capacity, as well as Ryan Truex in some capacity as well. Whether there's another car that joins that stable remains to be seen there, but it does seem like the 19, 18, and 20, why did I go out of order like that? I'll have no idea does feel like all those cars are already spoken for and we'll learn about the sponsors and which driver is in what car sooner rather than later. They are supposed to maybe announce it this week, if not next week, but it is coming within the next two weeks, uh, hopefully. So Eric Alvarola, he's headed to the Xfinity Series next year with Joe Gibbs Racing, which honestly, again, like I said, is a step in the right direction for him on a part-time basis. He wants to spend more time with his family, but putting himself in positions that have cars that are capable of winning is something that he definitely wanted to do because he has spoken openly about wanting to get to victory lane so that his kids can experience victory lane. They can see their dad win. And, you know, obviously, if you're just a human, you appreciate that on, on some level because it's just cool to see a guy want to celebrate with his kids like that and, you know, have his kids remember that kind of stuff. So that's all very cool. But Eric Amarola, head to Xfinity next season. Uh, hopefully we get like a formal announcement other than Joe just going out there and blabbing to anybody that's on the sideline at the Commanders game. So like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Card, Instagram and Twitter at Card Blog.